Hello, in this session, we will use the UV of the texture to modify and rotate the size of the texture. First, create a material. Next, with the T key pressed, click to create a texture sample node. Then, set your desired texture to the node and change it to a parameter so that you can modify the texture later in the instance. Here, let's set the texture as the logo texture. Next, to set the UV of the texture, create a textboard node. Then, when reducing or increasing the size of the texture, the size changes with the UV fixed. So use the subtract node and constant two vector node to shift the texture coordinates by 0.5 to center the texture's position. The constant two vector node can be created by clicking with the number two key pressed. Then to reduce or enlarge the shifted UV, create a divide node, connect it to the subtract node, and use the parameter node to adjust the texture size. The parameter node can be created by clicking with the S key pressed. Now, use the subtract node to center the texture again. Now, even if you change the size of the texture, it changes from the center. Currently, the texture is tiling. Set the sampler source of the texture sample node to clamp so that only the center texture appears. Next, create a rotator node to allow the texture to rotate and connect the nodes as shown in the video. Next, let's create a transform animation. To hit a time value, create a time node. Then, use the multiply node and the parameter node to adjust the speed of time. Then to regularly change the size of the texture, create a sine node and connect it to the multiply node. Since the value of the sine waveform includes negative numbers, connect an add node so that negative values are not output. Then create a clamp node to prevent the texture size from diminishing completely and set values like in the video to set the minimum size of the texture. Then, use the Multiply node to add animation to the texture. Next, to set the color for the texture, create a constant 3 vector node by clicking with the number 3 key pressed and set the desired color on the node. Then, to change the color according to the size of the texture, create a Hue Shift node. Connect the color to the texture pin of the node and connect the clamp node used previously to add the animation to the Hue Shift percentage pin. Finally, use the Multiply node to add color to the texture. And create another Multiply node. Set its values to amplify the brightness of the color. In the Content drawer, create a Material instance using the right mouse button on the material created so far. Then, place the plane mesh in the level from the place actor, adjust its size and position, and set the material instance to the mesh. 